Hey there, it's Angie from Block81. And man, it has been a long time since I have posted a video here on YouTube, but it's about time that I did. So I thought I would put together this quick little video on copyright notices on your website. So before I dive into this video too much, I do wanna make sure that you understand that obviously I'm not a lawyer. I don't even play one on TV. This is just a topic that I've written about and that I know a little bit about and I've researched. So why even make a video about copyright notices? I mean, that's kind of a boring little topic for a channel that focuses on design and development. And the reason is that I wrote a blog post on this very topic about four years ago, and it continues to be one of my top three, top five blog posts um, every time I look at my stats. So I figure that means people want to know a little bit more about this, this kind of information on copyright notices of all things. So that's why I decided to put this video together. So let's go ahead and dive in and talk about the proper way to write your copyright notice on your website. So first of all, why do we even need to include a copyright notice on our website? Well, the truth is that legally speaking, you don't have to. There's no requirement that says that you have to, at least not in the United States. Other countries, I really don't know. In fact, as Haley Bostwick from LegalZoom wrote, and I quoted this in my blog post, all websites and their content are inherently copyrighted provided that they are original works. So what does that mean? That means that pretty, pretty much whatever you create on your website is gonna be automatically copyrighted as long as it's original. If it's not original, if someone else made it, it's their copyright, not yours. Okay, so how do we actually format the copyright properly? It's actually really simple. All you have to do is include the copyright symbol or write out the word copyright, the year, the full four digit year that is, the author, and your right statement. So that will look something like this. Copyright 2020, Acme Inc, all rights reserved. That's it. In some cases you might do a some rights reserved if there are some things that you include on your website that aren't really yours or for some other reason, but that gets more into a, a legal and technical rabbit hole that I am definitely not an expert on, so don't ask me about it. Consult with your attorney. But really that's the, that's the gist of it. Copyright, year, company, and the right statement. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.